Hi everyone, myself Meghna Mantha, the co-founder of Dean Chapter. And myself Mantha, the co-founder of Dean Chapter. Dean Chapter is an organization which focuses on teen startups, youth-led organizations, and uh, teen entrepreneurs. We focus on featuring them and highlighting them, and uh, we highlight the work they do and the positive impact they create on our society. So we're very happy to have Youth Insights with us on this platform. So Youth Insights is a youth-led organization which aims to provide career-related information and advice to high school students in a very interactive format. We are very happy to have Youth Insights in this conversation, and uh, we are looking forward to know more about your organization. So, Joel and Kylie, uh, welcome to the interaction. So, tell us, uh, tell our viewers something about your organization and what it does. Yeah, so we aim to provide youth with information through like an interactive format, through virtual events, and. Um, we also would like to like connect like-minded people um, and they can learn through professionals um, who have similar interests, uh, sorry. Um, they can learn through professionals and like uh, gain knowledge from them and learn from them. And we also perform some fundraisers um, which uh, like students in countries with less educational accessibility. That's so good to hear. And how did you come up with this idea? Because it's such a good initiative. Yeah, so uh, we actually came up um, with the concept of Youth Insights earlier this year when we were both in grade 11 and we're in grade 12 now. Uh, so yeah, we were both in the stage of like planning out our future and we weren't exactly sure what direction to go in ourselves. And yeah, so we had these basic ideas of what we wanted to do, but we were very unsure of the next steps. And so we kind of decided that, you know, if we were going through this, there could be a lot of other students out there who might be going through this exact same thing. And so we just wanted to kind of address that um, on a larger scale and also just help people like us. And I think another important thing is that, you know, career specific education, it's not always taught. Uh, like you can take a psychology course and learn about like the science behind many important concepts, but not be sure how to apply it in real life or to like what a psychologist actually does in their day-to-day -day life. So that kind of stems from like that lack of practical advice and resources. And so kind of bridging the gap between these experienced professionals in their fields and students who are interested in the courses or interested in that career. Um, the way we see it is that we want to provide career insight uh, with Youth Insights. So that's kind of what we do through um, Youth Insights. And the kind of concept was just strengthened by our own personal story and also just like what we saw around us. Very well said. Yeah, it's, it's definitely important uh, for today's uh, youth and teenagers to know about the career um, and get informed decisions. So it's a very yeah. good initiative. Mm -hmm. And uh, a follow-up question to this, what kind of opportunities do you exactly provide to youth? So we provide virtual events um, or panels, which we have coming up next month. And we also interview with professionals where they tell um, about their like career and their journey in their career and how they got to where they are, their education path. And yeah, so you can gain insight from them and learn more about what they do. And we also have fundraising opportunities volunteer opportunities where you can gain experience, um, learn how to like talk to strangers, um, as well as you can also get like volunteer hours for that. And we are going to fundraise for Adopt a Classroom next month as well. And yeah, and we also have another opportunity where it's like you can join our team to gain experience in like teamwork and what it's like to work in an organization like ours. Yeah, it's pretty fast paced and yeah, it's like a different experience where um, many youth can join and you can definitely write it on your university applications, stuff like that, yeah. That's amazing. Okay, okay. so what are the struggles you faced in the initial stages of your organization? 
Uh, I would say that definitely one of the biggest struggles that we encountered was just finding the right people to join our team. Um, when we first started out, it was just me and Kylie. Um, it was just like us and like our few ideas and like our limited like range of expertise because, you know, prior to this, me and Kylie, we had like zero experience with management on this scale or like just in general running a nonprofit organization. So I think definitely for us, it was just finding the right people who could join our team and kind of fill the gaps that we were missing. Um, so that was like the first thing we definitely wanted to like address when we were first setting up. And I think just overall, like we were pretty unfamiliar with a lot of um, kind of platforms that we had to use and, you know, how to set up specific things. So in the beginning, it was definitely a lot of like background and behind the scenes work. But I think putting like extra effort into that uh, when like first setting up was definitely uh, something that really helps like in the future and like now, especially. That's nice. So what do you, uh, can you tell me what are the roles in the organization and a little about yourself? Yeah, so as co-founders, we manage all the directors and occasionally um, the coordinators. And we mostly communicate with our head management team where we organize and plan out everything for the month and the future months, like including our goals and like the future direction of the organization. And I are both currently seniors um, last year in high school, and we attend Burnaby North Secondary School, which is in Bur British Columbia, Canada. And so I personally like sports, including um, swimming, skating, snowboarding. Joelle likes art, and she likes to read in her free time. Mm -hmm. That's cool. So what impact would you like to create on our society? I think honestly, um, any kind of impact is really amazing to And we're really inspired uh, when people who join our events kind of cite their appreciation or just tell us that the event was able to way uh, in terms of understanding what they want to do in the future or just in general, you know, providing them insight on a specific career field. And so, yeah, we would like to keep creating that kind of positive social impact on youth anywhere. Uh, whether it be in terms of education or just even being a member of, on our team. Um, it's just like seeing that kind of continuous cycle of influence and impact you want to learn. Um, I think that's definitely the type of impact that we strive for. Right. Um, I've seen a lot of your uh, uh, videos or your guest speaker interviews in the past, and it, it is really amazing. And how do you manage to create such strong social media base? So in the beginning, um, when we first started the organization, Joelle and I actually, we had to create posts and we had to interact with other organizations to help us promote our um, posts and our events and stuff like that. Um, but now we would ha definitely have to say a big thing, marketing team where now they promote our posts and they do interact um, stories on Instagram and all, as well as our um, graphic design team where they create our posts and um, yeah, they make very beautiful eye-catching posts. So that definitely helps us, helps us promote um, the, the promoting process, yeah. That's amazing. And uh, what motivates you to run the organization and do such amazing work? I think uh, like I previously mentioned, seeing the impact um, that's created a key motivation and we definitely want to build like genuine connections between youth and between industry professionals as well as the, all the students that are involved in this so being able to accomplish is definitely what motivates us and I think that just you know in general that kind of bridging the gap thing where we're able to kind of connect people worldwide as well um, so like we first started off like just between our community in um, British Columbia, Canada, but we had like the goal of expanding to a global audience. And so that's why like, we really wanted to opportunize on that. So even like now speaking with you guys, um, I know like we're in very different places, but you know, just being able to create that kind of connection with youth everywhere and all over the globe, that's definitely something that um, is a key motivator. True, I totally agree with that. You know, having connections and network at such a young age will definitely help us in the future. Definitely. Yeah. 
So what are some topics you are interested to do in the future? So we're thinking of doing um, music or healthcare in the future. And then from there, we'll also ask um, our audience and our social media base what career they want insight in and learn more about in. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've seen that there are a lot of guest speakers and they're really experienced and all. So how do you manage to get such great speakers? Well, it's it can be quite a long process sometimes and you know we do have to dig. Um, but for the most part, we kind of rely on using uh, social media, especially like LinkedIn, um, to kind of connect with renowned professionals. So yeah, mostly where people list their contact information, we'll just kind of search on LinkedIn, um, Instagram, and sometimes we even ask if any members on our team uh, know anyone in person. And so yeah, but we always depend on like working relation and effective communication with um, any guests that we invite onto our platform. So uh, every industry professional that we've invited to Youth Insights, we're truly like appreciative of all them for wanting to inspire that change. Uh, That's nice. So would you like to give some advice to the youth in terms of career? Um, so Joelle and I actually, we feel like we're not um, in a position where we're actually qualified to give any advice just because we're also students and we're also trying to find our direction for our future and in terms of like where we want to go for university um and so yeah we we don't but you can definitely find advice um on our blog page um on our website and where there's many articles you can read about all the events we've done and also um in the careers that we've got, um digged in and like yeah. So are there any open positions in News Insights uh, currently? Yeah, so uh, we actually do have uh, multiple positions that are open for um, joining our team right now. Uh, so like recently, we just released our final round of executive positions. And so if people are interested in that, they can learn more about it on our Instagram page. And yeah, so no interviews are required for that. And there's also no deadline uh, for the application. So yeah, it's great for people to join now. Um, and also I'm not completely sure when this like interview will officially go up, but uh, we also have like a tech panel called the Tech Experience that's coming up uh, on September 26th. And it's at 4.30 PM PST. So yeah, it's gonna feature like three panelists and it's a really good way for people to kind of get introduced to the tech uh, field and also uh, gain some volunteer hours. So yeah, the link to RSVP for that is with the link in our Instagram bio. But yeah, I would say that there are positions open right now and there's also events for people to join. That's amazing. Uh, I'm truly fascinated and inspired by the work you guys do and uh, the opportunities you're providing to today's youth. It is, it's just amazing to see the guest speakers giving such immense knowledge. And thank you so much uh, for being here. We had a really good time talking with you and it's been a really good conversation. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for this opportunity. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.